Hey yo, this is the Cynical Romanian and welcome back to another episode of the Carry Diaries. Today I will be playing the tier 5 Chinese medium tank, the type T-34, which by his namesake it's, it's basically a copy of the, of the Soviet T-34 tank. Statistically they're pretty much identical, even the guns, uh, well actually the only gun they have in common is the fa uh, high rate of fire 57 millimeter, which I am using right now. I would like to I would like to state that I do not uh, uh, like lower tiers. I cannot stand them. There's something. There's just something about lower tiers that bores the shit out of me. Right. So, what I usually like to do in my medium tanks is go over to this little bushy area over here and shoot up at big dumb heavy tanks that climb the hill preferably would be nice if I didn't bounce on that uh, on the side of that tier 4 heavy tank alternatively from this position you can spot well unfortunate bastards like that guy in the Panzer 2 that I'm amazed that shot actually hit I wasn't even fully aimed but it hit we might judge so an early kill on the Type 95. I take a shot at the M4 turret. I'm not sure if it hit, but judging by the hit points, I think it. I think it did. I try to look for a shot on the KV1S, but he disappears from my radar. My next victim, an unlucky bastard in a T80 light tank. One shot into him, I miss. Second shot into him, and I think I bounced the third shot on his gun. Yeah, this uh, this uh, 57 millimeter isn't well. Actually, the reload is uh, faster than the aim time, which means to actually take full advantage of that blistering rate of fire, you actually have to wait between shots which is not uh, which is not particularly effective so I wait for this uh, looks to be behind the bush so I don't get uh, spotted when I shot at him he ducks back and forth a couple of times which means I miss a couple of shots but in the end I end up with a kill and then my next victim the KV-1 with the side I load the APC up because he was 400 meters away so a blind shot and I take another blind shot I'm pretty sure I hit him at least once and now unfortunately no one left to uh, spot thanks a bounce on the side of that uh, unlucky Panzer 34 and now at the time I I almost even forgot that I don't have uh, quick uh, Quick sense? What? Six cents. <laughs> I don't have six cents on this tank. Uh, so I didn't actually realize that the, the Panzer 34 actually spotted me there. I move over to this position to uh, take some shots into the enemy Type T-34. I miss a shot and I think uh, this shot in the side is the only shot I'll get. He's now behind the church and I will be unable to save that uh, friendly French tier 5 tank destroyer the death top unfortunately he's gonna die any moment now and right about now a wild KV-1S and T-80 come down rolling down the hill I consider shooting at the T-80 uh, at the KV-1S but I've been I switch to the T-80, I try to kill him, I miss a shot, then I switch to the KV-1S and I bounce because, you know, Russian heavy, why not? I turn my uh, gaze to the KV-1 in the cap and he's really, he really likes that cap, he's not gonna move there for the rest, uh, move from there for the rest of the game. I try to see if I have another shot at the KV-1, I, I miss it because, well, like I said, this 57 millimeter doesn't have the most amazing gun handling the 
dispersion when moving the turret and, and the tracks is not particularly amazing and again I didn't have I don't have a experience crew in this tank I think it was a 50% crew I'm not sure don't remember so what I was thinking now is to put as much the distance between me and the uh, uh, KV-85 as possible to shoot him from stealth. I get spotted there probably by him or by the T-80 behind the church which is unspotted at the moment. And well unfortunately the Hetzer, the all pretty much all the other tanks that are gonna uh, go try to kill that uh, KV-1 and the Cap are gonna go one by one and they're gonna get annihilated. Unsurprisingly, a few sneaky shots into the side of this KV-1S. He rams the type, my type 95 on my team. I tried to put a quick shot into the M4 but he was fast enough to go into the dip. So no kill for me. And yeah, like I said, that KV-1 is gonna kill every single tank which is unfortunate this is one of the bad things about the type uh, T-34 the gun depression as you can see here I pretty much have to expose the entirety of my tank in order to be able to shoot at anything from this position and right about now there they come I put the shot in the lower plate of the KV-1S and I get greedy there I take a big old hit from the 85 millimeter and uh, kills my loader. I quickly bring my loader back up because the whole point of this 57 millimeter is the blistering rate of fire. I take a little dink on the side uh, on the side of my turret there, most likely from the T80. And right here, get really lucky and bounce the 85 mil on the KV-1S. I quickly uh, engage the Sherman to kill him. I was really lucky that I uh, didn't get a low damage on there. And from here, kill the KV-1S, and uh, now the SU-85B makes a real big <laughs> mistake. He rushes me, he had about half his health. The, K85, uh, the, KV8, the KV-1S, not particularly happy there in chat because I was using gold ammo, but uh, oh well. I am not opposed to using gold ammo if it uh, uh, wins you the game. Now, I made a, I make a, I make a bit of a misplay here. I see the KV, KV1 with the with his rear towards me. I try to kill him because he's on 3 HP and I kind of leave my side open to the Hetzer and that T80 which puts two shots into me unfortunately. I plant a shot into the Hetzer on the move which was nice and now the T80 again unexperienced players he makes a mistake he'll try to rush me and unsurprisingly I'm gonna be able to shut him down I missed my first shot but I'm not gonna mess with my second and then he is dead and just I'm alone against the Hetzer and the KV uh, and the KV-1 I was afraid that the KV-1 might come for me but no like I said he's firmly planted in the cap circle and then suddenly a wild Hetzer appears put one into him and another he had the 105 derp gun which would have killed me is a good thing that I killed him. Now I'm one versus one with the KV-1 and well we're both one shots. No, I don't have any high explosive on this uh, on this 57 millimeters because it's absolutely garbage and so fortunately for me I have the high ground which means I'll be able to for the most part to, sec uh, to secure myself a sneaky bush shot this is bush uh, mechanic 101 go into the bush you spot and if you can go b behind the bush until it's not transparent anymore and you take a shot unfortunately not not much of a shot 
from this position just a bare sliver of at the top of his turret so I elect to go around again I don't have six cents but right here for example I spot him which pretty much means he might have spotted me so I like to go the safe route and I wait a few seconds for me to become unspotted and then I continue on to another set of uh, I continue to this to this push right here and I actually think that uh, I missed my shot unfortunately I missed my second shot and I have a feeling that uh, this KV-1 had six cents. You can always kind of tell if uh, tanks have six cents. If they stand still and then when you spot them they, sud uh, they suddenly start uh, moving around, you know, panicking. It probably means they have six cents. Again, go forward into the bush. This is bush mechanic 101. I, I don't move behind the bush because I don't have the gun depression behind the bush, unfortunately. I bounce my first shot, I miss my second shot. Fortunately, the third shot flies through, hit, hits the right side of his uh, turret, and my ninth kill. No pulls medal, unfortunately, but, you know, when you get this kind of result, well, the important thing is I won. Okay, let's go over to the battle results screen and see exactly what I did. Okay, here we are in the battle results screen. Unsurprisingly, an ace tanker. I mean, I pretty much knew it was, it was going to be an ace tanker even before I uh, got to the battle results screen. Uh, after all that effort, it would have been surprising, let's say, to say the least, uh, if it wasn't an ace tanker. A bunch of ribbons. Radley Walters, Defender for resetting the cap, Spartan, High Caliber, and Top Gun. 48,000 credits, which is not bad, and 4,888, I had uh, another of those uh, um, reserves active, I had the 100% experience one, if I'm not mistaken. As you can see, top by damage, by almost, by about the first guy after me has about half of my damage uh, 1396 uh, base experience 9 kills unfortunately 1 kill short of a pool's medal which would have been a nice addition to the already impressive lineup of medals it is what it is not complaining um, 61 shots fired I mean I pretty much I was shooting non-stop uh, marksmanship not exactly the best direct hits 39 and out of, out of those 39 29 penetrated 2092 damage and well the armor is it's okay against uh, lower tier tanks like tier 4 but doesn't really hold up to equal and higher tier tanks unless you get really lucky hits received 10 penetrations 4 non penetrations 6 damage blocked by armor again I got shot at, shot at by a few lower tier tanks plus one shot if I'm not mistaken from the 85 millimeter on the KV-1S that was a big uh, if he, if he would have penetrated that shot, I would have died. I did a little bit of spotting, actually. Some spotting damage. And yeah, pretty nice uh, result, I would say. I fired a lot of APCR, and I'm not ashamed of uh, about it, because in these types of situations when everything is down to the wire and you're the only one left alive uh, I mean you're gonna fire gold ammo especially if it's uh, if you know it's gonna help and yeah and with a premium account I lost 43,000 credits but you know what with a result like this I really it's really not about the credits I I can't stand uh, losing to lower tier 
newbies like this. So I pretty much loaded the gold with impunity. And this is with a premium account. If I wasn't rolling a premium account, I would have lost almost 60,000 credits. But again, it's not about the credits. It's all about the result. So yeah, guys, this was the, the game. I really don't play a lot of the low tier games, like I said, but uh, sometimes it all, turn, uh, it all works out, you know? So let me know what you think about the game in the comments below. And I will uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. The melody of the motherland carry you to glory. Enjoy. Denied. Yeah, so as usual, uh, YouTube copyright fucks me over quite thoroughly. I intended to use a nice Soviet score.